Hello Key Clubbers, my name is Johansson Pigo and I am the Division 28 West Lieutenant Governor and today I will be walking you through the updated Membership Update Center. Um, here you are able to get to this page by going to keyclub.org slash mbc and once you go there it should bring you to this page. So once you get to the Membership Update Center, if you do know your login info, uh, email and password, uh, go ahead and input that and press login. Um, otherwise, if you do not know your password, uh, click register slash reset password. And once you do, provide your faculty advisor's email address because that is the email address that is most likely going to be on International's database. Um, excuse me. And once you submit your faculty advisor's email, they should be receiving a link to reset their password within 15 minutes. If they do not receive an email with this link, um, you should go ahead and call International at 1-800-Kiwanis. Um, now I'm going to go on, uh, assuming that you do know that that you do know your login info. So go ahead and type the, type that in now. And as we wait for that, oh, just kidding. Uh, here we are greeted with the Membership Update Center dashboard. Here you will find helpful and quick basic information regarding your club. Uh, it includes your club info, officers, school contact info, your faculty advisors, your meeting location, and any financial issues regarding your club. Um, so this number here is the amount owed. And this is because International has not received dues from your club yet. Um, so don't be worried if you press or if there is an amount here. Um, just wait until International does process your dues, and once they do process your dues, this number should go away. So don't worry. Um, also, your club officers here. You can uh, edit, edit and delete uh, the names that are added here towards your club officers. So if it is labeled as a vacant, you can go ahead and click on edit and edit the name in. So, but for now, we're just going to go to the members section of the Membership Update Center as that is the most important part of the MUC. Um, as we wait for that to load, I just want to say that uh, the Membership Update Center has changed a lot from last year. Um, it is more convenient and as you can see now, you are now able to see um, the different features that it now offers. Um, one quick and easy feature that I find very beneficial to deleting members that are not in your club anymore is to sort by graduation year. Um, you can go ahead and click on select all and select the graduation years that have already graduated. So for example, if we wanted to delete the class of 2014 as this is as we are in the year of 2015 and 2014 already graduated. So uh, if you wanted to go ahead and just click on the select all checkbox and scroll down and press delete, you can go ahead and do that. However, um, you want to double check with all the members that you are selecting and making sure they were not accidentally placed in that graduation year. So before you go ahead and select all these members and delete them, make sure that they have not been mistakenly placed in the wrong class. And this goes for any other class that you find appropriate. So in this situation, we would delete class of 2011 and 2012. And once that's been deleted, you can go ahead and just go back to select all and you can go back to seeing all of your members. Um, to bulk add members, which is a new feature, click on bulk add and you are now uh, greeted with a page that has first name, last name, email, and grad year input boxes. Um, go ahead and type in that information and you can add this many members, press save, and then you can go ahead and bulk add more. Um, I find this a lot simpler uh, but it is less detailed than going ahead and adding a new member. By clicking on add new member, you'll be uh, greeted with this page. And you can go ahead and add first name, last name, and anything else required and any other information that you find appropriate for that member. And once you go ahead and add that member, just click save and that member should appear on the membership uh, database. Um, here you can go ahead and uh, see the member ID, last name, first name, email, grad year, and you can view their details by clicking view 
and you can go ahead and also edit their information by clicking edit. Um, once you click edit, you'll notice that you are greeted with the same screen that you are uh, that the membership update center has when you add a new member, except the information is already filled, and you just have to go ahead and delete it, delete or edit any information that you need to uh, change. Um, another important, or not important, but a new feature that I like is export to Excel. Um, once you export to Excel, it will convert all of this information for you into an Excel uh, spreadsheet. So I don't think you know, it's taking a while to load, but if it loads, then I'll go ahead and open it. However, um, if it doesn't open, then I'll just explain it right now. Uh, if you are a club secretary and you do not want to uh, create an Excel spreadsheet on your own, or uh, let's say uh, you don't want to make uh, two records of all the information that's already on the Membership Update Center, you can go ahead and click Export to Excel and you can open that spreadsheet file and okay, and it'll have all the information in a in a uh, convenient format for you. So if you want to do that, then that is totally fine. So that is all for now um, with adding members and looking at their information. Uh, once you have finalized your roster, you can go ahead and click on print invoice. And it's a blue button that's supposed to be right here where my mouse is at. But unfortunately, or not unfortunately, but my club has already paid dues, so the button is not there anymore. But if your club has not printed an invoice yet, go ahead and click this button and it'll ask you to confirm whether you want to convert uh, your, membership, or your membership to an invoice. And once you confirm everything, press print invoice and it'll generate a, an invoice that includes every single member that is on the membership update center. So make sure that you have all the members that you want as well as deleted any members that you that are not in your club anymore so that your invoice is accurate. Once you print an invoice, it will have the amount owed and you can go ahead and get a check, uh, check from your school and you can send that in to International and once they receive and process your dues, your, your club is now dues paid. Just a friendly reminder that dues are due by December 1st. However, if you still want to qualify for an early bird patch, that has also been extended to December 1st. And the reason why they extended this was probably because faculty advisors have been confused and the transition has been a bit awkward because this new system uh, is a bit uh, is new this year and uh, information has been um, has been delayed so um, they have extended it to December 1st so as long as you pay dues like you're supposed to and turn them in on time by December 1st your club will receive an early bird patch uh, just a reminder international has to process your dues by December 1st so be proactive and make sure you get your dues in uh, weeks before the deadline uh, I hope this video helped you. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and contact your respective Lieutenant Governor. Uh, since I'm the Division 28 West Lieutenant Governor, you can contact d28w.cnhkc.ltg at gmail.com if you have any problems. Uh, if you want to contact your respective Lieutenant Governor, replace the 28w with your respective division. Um, that's all for now, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to spread this video to anyone that you um, you think will benefit from this from watching this, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.